Hey, good, uh, good morning, guys. Or actually, I think it's lunchtime. So anyway, guys, hope you guys are having a great uh, Tuesday so far. Happy Thanksgiving. We're getting pretty close to uh, uh, Thanksgiving Day. Guys, today I want to talk a little bit about um, something that is uh, being talked about on the Internet and by a lot of the health coaches. And when it's coming to uh, losing that belly fat or body fat, or if you want to call it losing weight, uh, losing weight, um, I prefer to to refer to it as a losing body fat weight. So because that's what you're looking for, you're not looking for the scale weight. That scale weight means nothing when it comes to actually body fat inches if you're trying to lose uh, fat. But anyway, uh, calorie deficit is a um, something that is being talked about a little bit more now in the last few months I've been seeing on the internet. And I think uh, people have uh, the calorie deficit. Uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding about it. Now, in my opinion, guys, and the opinion of a lot of other old timers that have been in the health industry, it's all about calorie deficit if you're trying to lose that unwanted belly fat or body fat. That's just the way it is. It's just about that. But the issue is, is especially with the beginners and some of the intermediate pe people too, because you know when you're on a certain um, fat loss routine, you guys are going to have plateaus. That's just how that's just how it's going to happen. Your body will enter a plateau. You just have to know how to get out of it in the shortest amount of time, so you don't waste time losing that belly fat or body fat. And that's where a good coach comes in handy because he most likely knows how to tweak things in order for you guys to actually uh, get back on top of your bringing your metabolism back up to burn more belly fat and body fat. But the issue of the calorie deficit uh, is that people don't realize that there's a fine line when it comes to calorie deficit. Now, one of the uh, science has been talking about a... Uh, plan for centuries actually but people just aren't getting it especially those younger health coaches that you can be in a de calorie deficit 24 7 safely without taking taking your metabolism by being on alternate day intermittent fasting or doing a um uh early time restricted eating. And the reason for that is, is because you're only uh, fasting every other day and you most likely have, you know, if you're, if you're with a good coach who is experienced in that field and, and has been following it himself for years, then he can teach you how to stay in a calorie deficit to burn that belly fat and body fat off without tanking your metabolism because that's what will happen eventually someone who doesn't know what they're doing um they'll be in too deep of a calorie deficit too many times a week or too consist uh, consecutively during the week and you will actually tank your um, metabolism and actually not only stop your fat burning or losing that belly fat or body fat but you're also going to start gaining belly fat and body fat. And of course, there's other factors involved, you know, the type of water you're drinking. If you're drinking, if you're not drinking uh, hydrogen rich water, then you're obviously not flushing out the acidity um, that's causing you to not to lose the weight as, as well. And of course, the meals that you're eating. Now, science has also been saying for quite a few years now, decades actually, that a good high dietary fat uh, protein, uh, a moderate amount of protein, or for seniors, it needs to be a little more protein. And then uh, keeping your starchy carbs very low. Matter of fact, uh, for the first 90 to 120 days are the most important times of, um, of, your, of your journey trying to lose that belly fat and body fat. And so you want to completely get off of all those processed starchy carbs. And your carbs should mainly come from organic veggie, uh, uh, veggie carbs or and your you know salad should be as well as organic uh, stick with dressings that are higher in uh, omega-3s like uh, olive oil and vinaigrette stuff like that but guys the, the whole object is 
is that you need to be in a calorie deficit. And, you know, Emily and I have been in a calorie deficit for decades. And even on the holidays, you know, certain holidays, or if we're going out with friends, we can still stay on a calorie deficit by making the right choices and by doing the alternate day intermittent fasting or doing um, early time restricted eating, I switch them up back and forth. So guys, if you follow science, if you know how to research, and I'm not talking about researching Google. Google is just a bunch of uh, opinionated people that don't know what they're doing. They're not educated in the physiology of the body or the biochemistry of the body. They're not educated in hormones. Hormones, guys, hormones run your whole body. You have to understand that. You can't operate without hormones. And hormone is one of the main factors that are causing you guys to either hold on to your belly fat or body fat, or if you're having a hard time losing that belly fat or body fat, you've got some kind of a hormonal issues and you need to know how to uh, fix the root cause or the solution. And there is a solution and there's actually a natural way to do all this. And it's actually simple and easy if you're actually shown uh, or educated on which hormones, which the most common hormones you need to know about in order to keep yourself in a healthy environment, even if you're a senior or a baby boomer. There's no age limit in losing belly fat or body fat. And there's no age limit to actually uh, gaining lean muscle. Even the baby boomers can gain lean muscle with the right plan. So go to mybillmemorycoaching.com. Check me out. Check out our programs. Click on the eBooks. I have some uh, great eBooks that will that uh, are dis discounted. You can also go to my blog post, and there's some great training on there. And uh, you guys, I hope this uh, little bit of this video gives you guys a little help on uh, calorie deficit. Don't be af uh, afraid of it, but you do have to do it right because if you don't, you are going to tank your metabolism. So go with a coach that knows what he's doing. You guys have a great day.